We are at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the third and final race of Season 1 of the SCRL IZOD IndyCar Series. The 22 of Riley Spurley Tube will be leading us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 26 of Kyle Metz. I don't know what it is with the season finale races, but whenever I try to post the race, the qualifying always messes up, so I have to go back and redo the start. So this is why you see it here. Qualifying times, I just had to go back and redo it. So, in this race, we have 36 drivers battling for the win. And of those 36 drivers, 25 have a mathematical shot of being the champion. And I did not write down everybody's name, so we'll just have to find out after this race is over who our champion will be. The Brickyard. The biggest race of this season is also the season finale. Who will win the race? Who will win the championship? And forever write their name in the SCRL history books as being the first ever IndyCar champion. We will find out in 16 laps. And here's the command for the final time this season. Drivers, start your engines! The field is rolling off. 16 laps around this legendary track, the Brickyard. Every driver wants to win any race, but every driver wants to win at this track. And 36 drivers will battle to determine who will win the Indy 500. We've had a different winner in each of the two races this season so far. Will the trend continue? And I believe we actually have a car that's... Yes, we do. There he is. We have a car that's having problems. That is... The 20 of Jack Legacy. Not good for him. Especially if he's going for the championship, which I, I don't know. There's 25 drivers. I can't remember them all. And a field of 36 will race 16 laps to determine our Season 1 champion. After this series, I believe we will be doing the Bush Series. Season 1 of the Bush Series. Of course, that season will be accurate as well. You know, starting from 1982 and moving on. But that will be maybe, what, next week, depending on when this race is uploaded. We'll have to have sign-ups and whatnot. So, yeah. Pace car is in... For the first time in this series, we are racing at Indy, and Raleigh's Pearly Tube has the honors of leading us to the green, and we're racing to Indy. Cal Metz with a great start. Oh, trying to pull a ding drinker at Shanghai. You can't beat the leader to the green. But Cal Metz backed off, and he allows Riley Spurley to go past, so no penalty. And that's not being biased, because if you give your if you give the position back, they won't penalize you. We got battle for second between Kyle Mitz and the eleven of Kaka Silverpaw. Kyle Mitz looking to keep his win streak going. He won a race, his first ever race in the Canadian series. He's trying to go two seasons in a row with a win, but he's falling back. And Raleigh Spurley Tube will write his name in the history books and lead the first ever lap here at Indy. One lap down, 15 to go. Tech a silver paw right on his back bumper. Both drivers looking for a win. Winless this season. Silver paw has not won in a long time, actually. Raleigh Spurley Tube. Probably coulda, woulda, shoulda won the Formula One championship before mechanical problems ended his day at Shanghai.
third, A.J. Jones. Uh, two wins in the LCQ, but has never won a points-paying race. So, yeah. Then you got Brian Fox. Good run for him in fourth. Kyle Metz in fifth. We already discussed him. John Ard having a good run. Ding Drinker is about to get passed by Luke Rainey. Then there's Noah Cars. Keenan Bush. Al Legacy. Eli Bright. Jesse Turner in the 41 car. Three wide. Oh, Lord. I mean, this track is big enough to fit three three wide, but especially now with AI straight up like this. Noah Carr is trying to pass Luke Rainey. This is for eight. And he completes the pass. And they're approaching lap traffic. Jack Legacy, who had a tire problem at the start of the event. I'm guessing it was a tire because he's back on the track. Jesse Turner trying to move up. Pass Eli Bright. This will be for position number 12. And Turner... Turner is trying to get around him. He has not completed the pass yet. Now he does. And we got a breakaway as AJ Jones is trying to go around Keka Silverpaw, but does not. Here comes Brian Fox. Nope. Not enough. Fox is about to get passed by Kyle Mitz. This will be for uh, fourth. And Raleigh Sproley team is just driving away ever so slowly. His lead was three tenths of a second. Let's see what it is now. Excuse me, three hundredths of a second. Now it's. Uh, he lost two hundredths of a second. No, two. No. He lost two tenths. Moving further back. Let's see what's going on. Luke Rainey. Kena Bush. Al Agassi. They've, they have pretty much calmed down. Which is surprising considering it's Indy. I'm telling you, this game is really weird. You have the AI all the way up, and yet they don't wreck. And... I mean, we had the AI all the way up at Phoenix. And we had a lot of wrecks. And we got the AI all the way up, all the way up here at Indy, and they're not even doing anything. They're just running a single file, which is good for Riley Spurley too, because he is leading and dominating this race. He's trying to be a dominator and lead every single lap. His lead is now eight hundredths of a second. Oh, three wide between Kyle Metz, Brian Fox, and AJ Jones. Oh God! Oh Lord! Oh God! Oh no! No, oh, no, be save it. No. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God, caution. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Not good. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Ding Drinkers involved. Brian Fox, Colin Dryberg, Cole Nixie. No, a car is able to avoid. Holy crap. What the hell just happened? Well, looks like we finally got our first caution of the day. And Riley Spurley Tube did not want that. He had a five hundredths of a second lead. Well, that took a while. And we will take a look at the big ass wreck on the back stretch. We are under caution for the very first time that this race. So this started all the way back in turn number one. Brian Fox trying to make a move on AJ Jones and Kyle Metz. Makes it three wide. Now, what is the problem with running three wide? There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there's enough space on the track. You get contact right there between Kyle Metz and Brian Fox. So they're lucky they didn't wreck in turn one. But they're able to maintain. Then they come on the short shoot. The short shoot, excuse me. And they head off into turn number two. Kyle Metz gets the run. But Brian Fox and AJ Jones still fighting hard on the outside. They get a run. And Fox scrapes Kyle Metz's car. And 
AJ Jones, Scrapes, Brian Fox, and they just crowd each other, and into the wall AJ Jones goes, and then here comes Brian Fox, Fox swerves, and oh, oh, the car is nowhere to go. Luke Rain, he's barely able to get by. Brian Fox comes back across the track and hits A.J. Jones. As Carr spins out. And then more contact between cars. You got a 28 drinker. Brian Fox is spinning out. He's lost control of his vehicle. He comes back across the track. And hard him. Oh my god. Right into Kaka White Line. Jeez. He lands right on top of Colin Raberg and Cole Nixie. And Brian Fox goes a flying again. Oh my god. Wow. I got no words for it. <clears throat> Jeez. I mean, every driver has to go to the infield care center, but that was hard and board with Kaka White Line going 190 plus miles per hour. Tries to avoid. Oh my God, jeez. I mean, look at that. That's a 3,000 pound car flying in the air like it's a paper airplane. Jeez. Hopefully all these drivers are alright because that was a lot of brutal impacts. Well, we will get this cleaned up and we will take it back to the restart. And we are back, half a lap away from restarting this race. We're going to get the green with six laps to go. I apologize for this thing messing up right here, but Colin Dryberg, the 7, the 28, the, four, the 84, the 6, and... Wait, 18 is Zachary Fitzwater, and then 38 are all out of the race. Hopefully Brian Fox is okay after that huge hit. He, like everybody else, had to take a mandatory ride to the infield care center. And the drivers will hopefully have updates when they comment on the race. Riley Spurley Tube is our race leader. He's led every single lap. Second, Kaka Silverpaw. Third, Cal Metz. Fourth, John Ard. Fifth, Luke Rainey. Sixth, Al Agassi. Seventh, Keenan Bush. Eighth, Jesse Turner. Ninth, Eli Wright. And tenth, Jeff Ard. Six laps to go to determine who will win the race and who will win the championship. <clears throat> Can Riley Sproly Tube lead every single lap? And possibly the championship. And there's Green. We're back to racing at Indy. Spurly 2 leads him off into turn number one. Kakasaur Paul right on his back bumper. If they had a bumper, it's a wing. Silver so Paul trying to make a run down the back stretch. Spurly Tube, Silver Paul, and Cal Metz have broken away from the field. Here comes Silver Paul with a peak. Nope. Oh. Not able to get around. Him. That just shows you how powerful that 22 car is. Let's take a look and see who has the fastest lap. Wow. These cars get back up to speed. The fastest is the 26, actually. Cal Metz in third. Behind the draft of the two leaders. Oh. 
Silver Paul trying to go for the lead again. And she's got it. Nope, not yet. It's a drag race. Still side by side, and finally, Silver Paul passes. It's probably two back to second, about to be third. Can he regroup, though? He has not been in traffic all day long. Now he is. So we'll see if that car is as good in traffic as it was out front. Here comes Kyle Metz trying to go. Nope, not enough. So, Ice really Chew back to third. Fourth, John Ard, and fifth is Luke Rainey. Mostly single file through the field. We got a slow car. That's the 21 Noah cars just trying to survive for the rest of the race after reading the accident. We got about for position here. Tony Newman going around AJ Jones. Mostly single file for most of the field. Right, he's probably trying to go, trying to defend third, but here comes John Ard. John Ard wants a podium finish. He should have had the preferred line because the outside you just get railroaded. Yep. Nope. Trolley Tube still fighting back on the outside. This is the most entertaining battle we got on track. Another lap completed. As John Ard finally goes around, Riley Sproly Tube, as he's about to get passed by the 19 of Al Legacy. And might lose another spot to Keenan Bush. As Luke Rainey gets passed by Jesse Turner. Back up front. Does John R have anything for our two leaders? There'll be two to go this time by. I apologize if the quality is kind of buggy, but yeah, we're, we're, we are working on a low budget. Two laps to go for Katka Silver Paul. Next time by will be the white. If a caution, whoa, comes out, the race will be over. Kalmitz trying everything in his power to get around Silver Paul, but Silver Paul is blocking. You got to block if you want to win an possible championship as well. Maybe on the line. I thought I saw a car scrape the wall back there, but I guess not. When do you make your move? Or do you even have a move? Silver Paul got a pretty good distance between him and between her and Cal Metz. But Metz pulls within a couple of car links. Looks like we will end this race under green. White flag, one lap to go here at Indy. And Cal Metz making a move. Oh wow, that was he timed it perfectly. In turn one, Cal Metz takes the lead. He's got a good distance on Silver Paul. But did he make the move too early? Silver Paul trying to get into the draft and close back up on Cal Metz. Silver Paul trying everything she can. Cal Metz looking to win two seasons in a row. And off the final turn, Cal Metz will lead only one lap, the final lap. And that's all that matters. And he will win here at Indy. What a race. Congratulations to Kyle Metz. That's two seasons in a row he has won a race. Here are your race results. Kyle Metz leads only one lap the entire race. And he wins... The season finale here at Indy. Second, Kaka Silver Paul. Third, Al Agassi. Fourth, John Ard. Fifth, Riley Spurley Tube, who dominated most of the race. Sixth, Keenan Bush. Seventh, Jesse Turner. Eighth, Eli Bright. Ninth, Lou Graney. And tenth, Jeff Ard. Rest of the race results. We had 29 drivers finish the race on the lead lap. No one was a lap down. 
and everyone out was due to wrecks because that big wreck involving Brian Fox. Hopefully that driver is okay after that huge hit he had as well as Kaka Silverpaw. I mean, white line. And that is it for the racing portion of this season. We will take you to victory lane with Kyle Metz and then we will find out who our season one champion is. Here are the point standings after the season finale at Indy, and wouldn't you believe it, for the second time in three seasons and three series that we have done here, two out of the past three, the champion has won by one point. Our champion, Al Legacy, his first ever SCRL championship his entire career. Al Legacy, our champion, he had one win, two top fives, and two top tens. Second, Jeff Ard. No wins, one top five, three top tens. One point behind. Third, Eli Bright. No wins, no top fives, three top tens. He was four behind. Fourth, Kyle Metz, our winner at Indy. He had one win, one top five, and he was his only top ten. He was ten behind. Fifth, Jesse Turner. Good uh, season for him. He had no wins, but he had one top five and two top tens. He was 12 behind. Sixth, Keenan Bush. No wins, one top five, and two top tens. He was 15 points behind Al Legacy. Seventh, Richard Torres. No wins, no top fives, one top ten. Eighth, Kaka Silverpaw, who could have, should have, would have won uh, Indy, but got passed by Kyle Metz. No wins, one top five, and one top ten. Ninth, Jonathan Reigns. No wins, no top fives, and two top tens. 10th, Grayson H. Vidu, no wins, one top five and one top ten. 11th, Alexander Rowe, no wins, one top five and one top ten. 12th, Kyle Broskolowski, no wins, no top fives and one top ten. 13th, Jay Jefferson, no wins, one top five, one top ten. 14th, Max Anderson, one win, one top five and one top ten. 15th, Joe Jefferson, no wins, no top fives and one top ten. 16th, Tommy Hudson, no wins, no top fives, no top tens. 17th, Noah Cars, no wins, one top five, one top ten. 18th, Derek Edison, no wins, no top fives, no top tens. 19th, Zachary Fitzwater, after that huge wreck he was involved in that Indy. No wins, no top fives, but one top ten. 20th, Jack Legacy, so both Legacy members were in the top 20 in points. He had no wins, no top fives, but one top ten. 21st, John Ard, no wins, one top five, one top ten. 22nd, Riley Spurley Tube, who dominated Indy but could not pull out a win this season. He had one top five and one top ten. 23rd, Sebastian Torres, no wins, no top fives, no top tens. 24th, Luke Rainey, no top five, no wins, no top fives, one top ten. 25th, Evan Rudd, no wins, no top fives, no top tens. 26, A.J. Jones, no wins, one top five, one top ten. 27th, Nick Kennedy, a bad season for him. 27th in points, no wins, no top fives, no top ten. 28th, Tim Randolph, no wins, no top fives, no top tens. 29th, Tony Newman, no wins, no top fives, no top tens. 30th, Colin Dryberg. A disappointing season for him, and it ended in a wreck at Indy. No wins, no top fives, no top tens. 31st, Dan Weldon. No wins, no top fives, no top tens. 32nd, Jeff Bright. No wins, no top fives, no top tens. 32nd, Jeff Bright. No wins, no top fives, no top tens. 33rd, Brian Fox, after that huge wreck he had at Indy, lost seven spots in the last race. No wins, no top fives, and no top tens. 34th, Dink Drinker. No wins, no top fives, no top tens. 35th, Kaka White Lion. No wins, no top fives, no top tens. 36th, and last in points, Cole Nixie. No wins, no top fives, and no top tens. 
Now we'll take you to the stats for this season. Most wins, everybody was tied at that one because we only had three races and we had a different winner each race. Most top fives, Al Legacy, our champion, with two. AJ Jones, Alexander Rogue, Kaka Silver, Paul Grace, and Fidu with one. Most top tens, Eli Bright and Jeff Ard, both with three. Our champion, Al Legacy, Jesse Turner, and Joni, Jonathan Reigns with two. Polls, that's at random because we just do most laps completed. Al Legacy, our champion, Alexander Rowe, Kaka Silver, Paul, Derek Edison, and Eli Bright, all with 68. Most laps led. Max Anderson with 20. Al Legacy, our champion, with 16. Jeff R. 16. Raleigh's probably 2 11. Silver Paul with 4. Most miles completed. Al Legacy, our champion, Alexander Rowe, Kaka Silver Paul, Derek Edison, and Eli Bright with 92. Our general stats. The fastest average was Indianapolis 500, 129.114 miles per hour, won by Cal Metz. Our slowest average was Phoenix, 82.529 miles per hour, won by Al Legacy. Our biggest margin was Walt Disney World. Our closest margin was Indy. Fastest pole, slowest pole, same thing because we do random qualifying. Most lead changes, Phoenix with three. Most leaders, Indy with three. Most yellows, Phoenix with four. Most cars running, Indy, I mean, Walt Disney World, all 36 finished. Most DNFs, Indy with seven. So that concludes Season 1 of the SCRL IZOD IndyCar Series. Our champion, Al Legacy. And that is it for this series. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the short season that it was. And we'll see you at the next series sign up, which I believe will be for the SCRL Wrangler Jeans Bush Grand National Series. And we will see you then.